Hello Pisces, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle and I'm going to do your April 2020 uh, kind of at a glance reading tonight. Please remember this is a general reading. It cannot, will not resonate with everybody. That's perfectly fine. You can always check the other signs in your chart um, to find your clarification or for your story. I do suggest you do that um, because even if this does resonate, you could go into like your moon rising or your Venus and you watch that one and maybe not all of that's going to resonate with you, but it, there's going to be a couple things that you pick up and you're like, oh my goodness, and then those, those dots sort of start to connect and then you can come back and watch this one again and then it makes more sense and you're like, oh my goodness. And then it all kind of comes full circle. Um, please like, subscribe, and share the channel so that these messages can find those who need to hear them. If you're looking for a private reading, you can find me on my Facebook page, Mystic Kitten, and we can discuss that there. My um, price list has been uploaded now, so that's available at a glance without having to send a message. If you're just looking for the price list... And I think that's it. So, Pisces, let's get this going and see what April is looking like for you. So we're going to grab three quick shuffles here. I just got so tired out of nowhere. Like exhausted. Holy man. All right. Okay. Whew. Pisces, April 2020. All right. Your overall energy or your underlying energy for the reading is the Page of Swords. So this is somebody, this is sort of deception um, or not knowing the whole truth about a situation. The overall energy for the reading is the Magician in reverse. So you're feeling stuck, you're feeling stagnant. Uh, this can also speak to a feeling of not being able to um, see clearly or not having enough of the information to be able to um, fully conceive the whole idea. In your recent past energy for April, pardon me, is the Ace of Wands. The Fool in Reverse and the Six of Pentacles. So there is somebody coming in. I'm getting the strong feeling that it's somebody you have dealt with from the past. That's probably what this energy is. This Page of Wands is coming in with this Ace of Wands, or Page of Swords with this Ace of Wands. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they're probably very attractive or the offer that they have seems very, very attractive. But with the fool in reverse, it tells me they're not ready to dive in deep. They're not ready to commit. They don't want to kind of be that forever for you. You have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, though, which tells me that you're very clear about it. It's not like you don't, you don't need anybody to tell you. It's like, don't tell me things I already know. Thanks, I'm good. In your present energy for April, you get the Knight of Cups in reverse. You get the 
Six of Swords in reverse, and you get Judgment. So to me, this is saying that you're not willing to move forward with whatever's coming in. The, and I'm getting that from the, king, the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords being paired like they are and came out both in the reverse. Um, you're trying to like let this be and kind of let it die off, but they're coming towards you and it's like it doesn't matter which way you go. You go left, they're going left. Like they're coming at you from the left. You go right, they're coming at you from the right. It's like they're always in your face. Um, you open your phone and there's a text or there's a notification from one of your so social medias. You go to the corner store and it's like, how the hell do you show up here? You don't even live around me. Why are you here in my corner store? Uh, and you're starting to like really wonder like what, what's going on here? How do you know where I'm going to be? Why do you know where I'm going to be? You're judging the situation. With this judgment, it tells me that um, you're really starting to look at this from an at, like a lytical point of view and you're really starting to hyper focus on these things like these the serendipities you're starting to be like you're not looking at this as oh look how cool this is we're meant to be together oh hell no you're looking at this like what the fuck is going on how do you keep showing up why are you always around in your immediate future, you have the High Priestess. Like I said, you're starting to see things for exactly as they are. You are, you're level about it. You're not freaking out. You're not, you know, throwing things off the rails, but you know what's going on. You know what the fuck's up. Uh, the Nine of Wands in reverse tells me that you're not willing to even entertain this person. They're like, but all our past, and you're like, yeah, it's the past for a reason, and I'm over it. And transition in the reverse tells me you don't want things to change. You don't want them, you don't want to make this better. You don't want to, you don't, you just want things to be the way they were before, which was they weren't a part of your day. And that's all you're looking for. You just don't want this person to be a part of your day anymore. And you feel like you worked hard, you, had, you pulled back, you guys broke up, you went your separate ways, you probably hadn't talked for quite some time from what I'm getting, and then out of nowhere this fucker comes back and you're like, no, man, no. You know how good shit was until you showed the back? Like, no, no, you need to back off. You need to back off. Let's get some clarification. Though it's pretty cut and dry here, Pisces. I'm still tired though, like you're exhausted from this. And you're gonna be, like, the exhaustion didn't lift. Oh my word, part of me! That's so embarrassing. It did not lift the whole thing and I was fine until I started pulling these cards and now all of a sudden... I am so drained. All right. Clarification for the Ace of Wands, the Fool in Reverse, and the Six of Pentacles in Reverse. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to take all the cards that flipped over, and we're going to put back all these cards, because that's just too many. So, clarifying the past energy, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, you've got the Six of Pentacles in Reverse, You've got Judgment again, <clears throat> and you've got the Eight of Wands. So yeah, this could have been a marriage, actually. This could have been a marriage. So you had put in the work, you thought it was stable, but with this Six of Pentacles showing up twice, it tells me that you pulled yourself out of this place of lacking, you pulled this yourself out of this place of you know, the gossip and the rumors and and the nattering in your ear all the time so that you could pull yourself out of this place where you're, you're feeling like you have to judge and you have to second guess everything. And with the eight of wands, man, you moved out of that fast. You were, you made your choice, you set the groundwork and you were like off to the races. You were over it.
one more shuffle and we'll clarify current energy for April. Can I get clarification for the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, and Judgment in Pisces current April energy, please. Thank you. Alright, so we've got the King of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. This is definitely a cycle ending. Okay, so the King of Wands in reverse tells me that you're being very cold and shut off. You are not giving up any signs. You are like, nope you're stoic, you, some, this person like sees you at a corner store, like I said, and they're like, oh my God, Pisces. And you're like, bye Felicia. Like, you're not happy to see them. You're not mad to see them. You're not frustrated. You're just like pan faced. You're like, bye. You're giving zero away because some information with this ace of swords coming, showing up, there was some information that came in and you were like, no, I'm done with this. And that puts you in this state where you felt defeated with the nine of ones. You felt like the war had been fought for no reason. But with the nine of pentacles, that tells me that you also see the, the gains and the things that are going to be so much better because that war wasn't won. Because you allowed yourself to just kind of throw in the towel and be like, I don't even want to, I don't even want to fight this fight anymore. Like, I don't even want to do this. Why are we even talking? Oops. Let's clarify your future energy for April and then we'll pull some advice or some wisdom cards from the universe and we'll be all done. Can I get some clarification for the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and transition in reverse? Yeah, and see so you have the Nine of Wands here and here. You've just got all these cards just coming, coming up again and again. All right. Clarify the immediate future energy, April 2020 for Pisces. You, why do I feel like because it did? Yeah. You're in for a fight though. They're not going to like it when you try to walk away. All right, so clarifying the immediate future for April. You've got the King of Cups in reverse, so you've shut yourself off emotionally. We talked about that up here with the passion. You've done the same going into the future. You do the same. You cut yourself off emotionally. You're like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. But you have been able to turn your magician upright. Your magician has turned upright so that you're able to see things clear, more clearly. You're able, you're able to implore your... Um, your intuition, your manifesting skills. Uh, with the three of pentacles, it looks to me like there is some sort of bind, like the bind that ties you guys, whether it be a marriage that you have to dissolve or you have a family already, but there's something that does kind of tie you to this person temporarily. Temporarily for the long term. The star in reverse tells me that you you are very like rigid with this person. You do not feel like in this situation you can be vulnerable at all or state your peace or have your say. And the five of the five of wands tells me that you're in for a fight. Whatever this union, whatever this obligation, this three of pentacles, it's an obligation, whatever that is, you're going to have to fight your way out of it. But it'll be worth it, 100%. 100% it'll be worth it. Let's get your wisdom cards, Pisces, and then you're done. One more. All right. Can I get some wisdom cards? That's too many. Can 
I get some wisdom from the universe for Pisces for April 2020? Do you have anything else? Oh, yeah, Pisces. Fuck yeah. Do you have anything else? I don't even think you need anything else with that card coming up. Anything else? No. You don't even need anything else. Nothing else is needed. You got the Phoenix. Resurrection, surrender to change. Right? And that's what you're doing. You, you're totally surrendering, your, surrendering yourself to like changing out of this and staying away from this old so you can be, so you can be the Phoenix and rise from this fight and this very toxicness that this is and you are going to come out the other side just glowing because you will have done what feels right to you you will have said to that person that's coming back from the past you know what you weren't right then and you're not right now i'm done all right pisces i hope this message finds who it needs to I hope your April is so fabulous, whether this resonates with you or not. And I will connect with you all very soon. You have a wonderful April. Blessed be Pisces.